Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh.com, and welcome. Welcome to a uh, spy review. I did a review, I don't remember what day it was, but a couple days ago I did a review of the market, and now I'm doing it again today, and I think it's important to do it today because I think this move in the market is very important today um, because it was, it was hard to call, and I called it right. I'm so proud of myself. Actually, while this is happening in live time, the next target for the market here at the SPY is 177.50. But it's too early here, um, and I don't think we hold it. Let's just look at this right now. <clears throat> 177.50, 177.30, 177.25, and 177. Because we just break a new low here before 12 o'clock, I actually think we're coming in and going to have a crazy, crazy red day today bigger than a Friday. I actually think there's a possibility, a possibility, I'm throwing it out there, that the dream, 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 dream target short for the market today is 175. I don't think that this breaks here today, but I think the market has a crazy target to the downside today. And I actually called it this morning at 8 a.m. It, it was a great call. Boy, am I reading things really here, 177.50. So let's go over it, because I'm sure a lot of people thought the market was going to hold in here today, but it, it wasn't. Trainers were trying to buy the market today. Let's go all the way back to the morning. Here's the open. Market broke immediately, came on down, came on down in here, and then rallied hard over the high. This is a large green bar. And so I'm sure some people bought, if not in here and here, and the market went over the high. And if you didn't have conviction and read the chart properly, you bought this or thought it was going to hold. Even though it went over the high, I still kept the bearish bias. I was watching. I was waiting. I was seeing. I was looking. I was saying, wait a minute. Is this not going to do what I think it's going to do today? But then it did. And, and the other thing I said this morning was that it was going to be choppy, choppy, choppy between 930 and 10. And that the market and all the short setups today were going to be late, 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 late. And that, that was right, too. That was right, too. So anyways, here was a break, but not enough. Came down in here. And then guess what it did? Market did a lower, did a higher high here, then a lower high here, and then another lower high here. So I'm sure the traders bought this this morning, thinking that this market was going to hold and rally and retrace some of the bar back from Friday. But that's not how I read it. That's not how I saw it, even though we went over the high. Even though we were green, we're actually green for a solid, solid half an hour today or thereabouts. And the SPY did not break the low of Friday until, it was like 10.15, yeah. It was like into the 10.15 reversal time. But I knew when it did, I knew it would, and I knew that when it did, the target was big. Target was $2, and it's almost there. I mean, it's, it's getting there right now into the 12 o'clock major reversal time. So really, the realistic target today, we're, we're there. I mean, we're, we're there. But do we go further? I actually think we do because this is, this is people now, people are taking profits that were up money in this bullish market, number one. And number two, some shorts have started to come in. I said that from the bar from Friday. And this is just, you know, one of these things where remember shorts. This is why I love shorts. I just love shorts. Because when the short action starts to come in, sometimes it can take over and can come very fast, very, very fast. So I'm taking it each day as it comes. Didn't know how we'd open this morning, um, last, you know, over the weekend. But then when I got up this morning and I saw where we were gapping, I called us bearish. I said, geez, we're going to have a bearish day today. We're heavy. We're actually going to trade lower. We actually have a pretty, pretty good target here. But I knew it would be choppy. I knew it would be choppy to set up. I knew people would try to buy it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Woo! It was a great call. Great call. I made today in the market. It's so, so hard. It was hard because the spy made it high. It was hard because it happened late. It was hard because it was such a big, big day on Friday. No one, no one thinks we're going to have a day like this after the fact, but that's not the case. You have to read the overall chart. You have to read price. You have to read what's happening. You can't just say, oh, we're coming in to support you and we're going to buy it. No, no. You can't just say we had a big red bar. We're not going to have another one. No, no. It's crazy. So here we are, 12 o'clock major reversal time into the first number right in here. And mm, 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 mm. 175 could actually happen today, and that would be ugly. And then I'd have to see where we are tomorrow. I mean, every day I'm getting up and I'm just looking and reading the market in live real time. So the people in my trading room are really taking advantage of my calls here because it's been choppy and hard to call this and trade it if you are not in a good trading room. 
If you're not getting training, remember, you're not with somebody that's your mentor or running a room that knows how to reprice or charts the way I do. You, it's, this has been, you know, this has not been an easy read. I mean, it's not. You've got to be good to be a trader. You've got to be good. You have to know how to read stuff. You have to know, have to know how to reprice. You have to know how to read it. We, we don't go green today. We will close red today, either looking exactly like this or worse. So it's too early. It's just too early. It's too early in the day here. We're not going to recover from this. And as the day goes on, the selling comes in, the selling comes in, the shorts come in, the sellings come in, the shorts come in. We're still in an uptrend, though. I'll tell you that. And, and I'm going to really, really, really just have to play it out here this week, and we'll see. But for now, the market is still in the bullish uptrend. Overall, in the bigger term time frame, but for the short term, today I called the market bearish for the intraday short term. Friday I called the market bearish for the short term day, you know, short term intraday. You gotta, when you're a day trader, look at things in the overall bigger picture and then on the day because you're trading, you wanna make money on the day. And today I said, long was not the play today, short was the play today. Short was the play today, but a late play and choppy. And that's what it was. You had to be patient, you had to wait, you had to have conviction. You have to have conviction when you trade. And honestly, if you don't have anything good to do, you don't do anything in the day. If you, and you don't have conviction, then you learn how to get it. You learn how to get it. You learn to have a strategy that gets you what the answers are. What are the answers? Reading the chart, right? It's all about reading the chart, right? This market was not a buy today. It wasn't a buy Friday and people were trying to buy it. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, oh, oh. 77.75. No, that's... Let me keep going. So we'll, we'll see what really happens here, but this is very bearish. Market is bearish. Market's continuing the bearishness from Friday. Very, uh, very challenging call uh, this morning, but I made it. It was really good. Here we go. Here we go. 177.50. My Lanta. I mean, we seriously, I mean, this is a dream target to say 175, but I'm putting it out there because it's, it's too early now. It's coming in. And this is real. We, we could actually have a bigger bar than we did on Friday. Let me just see here. Look at this. Four fifty. Yep. We could. We we might actually have a larger red bar today and a bigger sell off today than we did on Friday. Boy, it is fun to short. People ask me why do you like to short here. Look at the market. This is a great example. All you do is just press the button short and everything's falling from the sky. That's why it's fun. <laughs> just sit and watch yourself make money today if you know what to do and how to take trades. Not everybody does, but if you read this here, I mean, actually, where did I call this here today? <sighs> it's crazy. I must have called them a two minute. It was around 30 something. I called it. Here. There's 34, 34 by 55. 34 by 55. Then it had an ad in the five minute. Market's gone a dollar. It's crazy. Market's gone a, a dollar, almost two dollars. What are we going to add to? 66. A dollar 70 from that. That's a huge trade. Q's are beautiful too. Actually, the SPY was really challenging today to read and call on this because the Q's were the Q's were much cleaner. The Q's set it much cleaner, but I said all morning the SPY had a bigger target. SPY had a bigger target and has a bigger target, but the Q's did set up cleaner. But the SPY is underway now. You got to be short in this market if you want to make money trading today as a day trader. And and if you're in core longs, you know you, you know you should have taken probably some profits out in here back last week or even on Friday, okay, earlier, early rather than later. But this morning, if you didn't, the, the thing to do is to get out. And this, I just saw this fall happening here. Look at this. <clears throat> 175 is the target for the SPY today. I know that sounds crazy, but it's 100% realistic. So we'll see what happens here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red bars, falling bears. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you're interested in information on how to read gaps, how to read price, how to read charts, um, then feel free to give me a call or email me. My email is melissa at the stockswish.com. I'm doing the next gap class February 8th. 
and ninth. If you want to learn how to properly read charts, then my class is the one to learn. And then if you take the class, you're able to have access to sign up if you want to sign up for a full-time member to the live trading room where I make calls like I did today, just, just like I did today, where I made the call today even though the market went over the high that it was still a short and, and uh, it, it was a really, really, really choppy morning and I made a good call. So hats off to those who did it in the room this morning. Uh, good job. They, they made some nice, nice, nice profits with good stops and entries and big targets. And 175, 175 here in the SPY. It's going to keep breaking 1204. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. Email me if you're interested in the class, melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks and have a great day.